something that our viewers that are not as familiar with the Israeli society and the arts can understand their perspectives through the language of art and understand that there is a common language which all of these artists are speaking in with different perspectives. So I think for the purposes of this exhibition, the idea of centrifuge is talking about a really interesting aspect of Israeli society and one that's often not explored, especially in American Jewish politics. And that's the idea of the fracturing that actually happens happens within the borders of Israel itself. That there is a multitude of people and a multitude of reasons why people immigrate and choose to stay and live within the borders and confines of Israel. Artis is an independent 501c3 nonprofit. We're based in New York and we have two outposts here in Los Angeles and in Tel Aviv. And our mission is to broaden international awareness and understanding of contemporary art from Israel. Inbal Abergel is an Israeli photographer living and working in New York. She's a graduate of the MFA program at Columbia University and an artist scholarship recipient. Her series, Station from 2009, looks at the bus stations in Israel as sort of these social barometers. And what she noticed was that depending on the time, depending on the moment, you could really tell a lot about what was going on in society. If there was a terrorist attack, there was a sort of makeshift memorial that was created at a bus stop. But then you also kind of see more innocuous things like fashion advertisements, really beautiful geometric modernist interpretations. Things that are really wide-ranging but really very telling about what's going on societally. I Am Deluski has a fascinating two pieces here in the exhibition. He's taken the idea of a pinhole camera and creates what he calls inventions. And he's taken a wine barrel, and what he did is instead of only creating one hole, which is traditional pinhole camera, he actually punctured the barrel 16 times, so creating basically 16 f-stops, and took his pinhole camera, sitting it on the steps of the Tel Aviv Art Museum in front of a large square, and allowed the camera to sort of capture the life in the square. I Am's wine barrel shows us what some might see as beautiful and abstract light, but others could see as fractured landscape. Anissa Ashkar is a Palestinian artist living and working in Israel, and her practice is really rooted in a process of daily facial calligraphy in which she writes different sayings, poetry, in Arabic on her face. It's really beautiful, and so there's actually a portrait of the artist with some writings on her cheeks. It's not only part of a larger performative practice, but it's really an affirmation of her identity, not only her Palestinian identity, but her femininity. And the eye is also obviously an important symbol for her. A lot of the the calligraphy is centered around the eye. Centrifuge here at Shulamit Gallery also presents a number of tar and paper drawings that feature the eye with various sayings, often cryptic, underneath them. Ida Michelli's work is in two parts. The first is this textile piece that is a Torah curtain. So in its you know, sort of most traditional use, the Torah, so our main religious scripture, which is a large scroll, would be wrapped in this curtain to keep it and protect it. And the women, which is an Ethiopian Jewish community living in Israel and doing traditional craft and folk arts, worked alongside the artist to sort of tell their story of the creation of the curtain and the symbolism behind it. And so that's featured in a short documentary that goes along with the curtain. Ella, la telenovela, is a work by Luciana Kaplan, an artist originally from Argentina, currently living and working in Tel Aviv. And she actually works with a nonprofit organization in Israel that assists Latin American migrant workers. And she was interested in creating a telenovela, which is a very dramatic Latin American soap opera, using and actually enlisting these workers, many of whom are not Jewish and are in Israel solely for economic reasons, to play the part of their wealthy employees. And the plot line kind of follows this invisible maid that never actually makes an appearance. Her name is Ella, Ella in Hebrew meaning goddess, and Ella in Spanish meaning she or her. Roe Rosen might be, in my opinion, one of the very interesting sort of conceptual artists in this exhibition. Even though the work at a first glance feels very traditional, 
there are these beautiful prints that are, you know, simply constellations. They look like, you know, sort of star maps that you can sort of buy or see anywhere. However, they come with this elaborate backstory where Rowie has actually created two pseudonyms and an entire backstory exploring the Russian immigrant community in Israel today. Israel is oftentimes portrayed under one specific focus or lens in mainstream media, and that's usually the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And while that's obviously a very pressing, crucial issue, the exhibition, I think, really aims to look at other underrepresented communities within Israel, really kind of showcasing a true mosaic of cultures. So there's a lot of richness there that I think is kind of overlooked and oftentimes flattened by obviously a very important political issue, which is the conflict.